Good morning. It is a little after 5.30. I'm just getting ready to leave for work. Today we're headed back to the same job. We're gonna pour the lower end of the driveway and then we're gonna set the approach area. She wants kind of like some special culvert walls. She saw a picture of some we did a few years ago. So uh, we gotta set those up just right. The guys have been working on the roof. This part here is all done. And I think today they're just going to finish over the garage and then that little part there. I think they're probably going to finish up today. So they did a really nice job. I went up there yesterday, which was a mistake. Um, that doesn't look that steep from down here. But when I was up there, I felt like, uh, felt like I could slip down and I almost did. So we got to get to work. I will see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Good work. Pulling out of the house here and it is very humid today it's gonna to be in the 90s today the humidity you can see the condensation on the windows it is muggy but over the weekend we're supposed to get a cold front next week it's supposed to cool down to the low 80s again summer's going by fast soon fall will be here the cold air will be blowing in and then we then we'll be complaining how cold it is <laughs> that's the way that it is and that's the truth. Hey, good morning. Morning, Miss Z. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. All right, have <laughs> a good day, thank you. Do you have a good one? Yep, 6.09, just pulling into the yard on the first one here. I just gotta grab some two by tens or two by twelves some junk to form up the culvert walls or wings or whatever you want to call them and that's pretty much all we need that is different t320 is back so that's good I'm gonna grab some of this twisted wood I don't know if you can see how twisted that is chop this up cut it up box of cutoff wheels so we're good hi Jade Hi, Jerry. We ready for another day? Jumped in the T320 to make sure this is still working. And it is. It's different now. See, the last time they... Let me shut this off here. So, there's like a spool valve or whatever. Hydraulic spool valve. I don't understand it all. And it controls the, the quick attach. So, you push the button, it opens up. You can change buckets or attachments. This is the third time I've replaced that thing, and it's really expensive. Uh, the first two times they replaced it, it was a little different where you had to hold the button and use your foot pedal, which was not how it used to be originally. And now they replaced it for a third time, and now you just hit the button. You don't have to mess with the pedals at all, and it works. So, man, I'm hoping this lasts for a long time now. It's a really good machine. I've done a lot of work to this thing through the years. It's got like 3,400 hours on it but I replaced the main hydraulic pump, which was incredibly expensive just a couple years ago. Um, that, that's one of the you know biggest components that can fail, the most expensive components that can fail, besides the motor. And it's a Kubota motor and they're pretty bulletproof. So this machine should last for a long time yet. I know some machines like this I've seen on the internet with 10,000 hours on them. This has got the old style Kubota, no emissions or anything like that on it. It's got a regular exhaust. It doesn't have an afterburner. None of that stuff. I gotta weld these hinges though. They're starting to crack. I had a T300 years ago and it started to crack like this. I let it go for a while. One day, actually it was me and Daryl. We were on a job. The whole tailgate fell off while we were working. It just fell right on the ground. And that wasn't good. Okay, just waiting for the other guys. Hopefully everybody's on time today. Ryan's here, 6.25. So Ryan leaves for school in just a few weeks. That's gonna be a bummer for me. He takes a lot off my plate driving a truck and he's able to get the equipment down and pick it up and all that kind of stuff is, a, is just a huge time saver for me. But it is what it is. I'm gonna miss him for sure. Yeah, that's pretty intricate too. That's a cool one. 
Unfortunately, it's not going to last very long. It ain't going to be here for no. pretty cool, though. It is. Yeah. It's really Look sticky. Look how sticky that is, man. It's like spray glue. Oh. Look at that. That is cool. That is. He does all that just to eat. Right. right. Just to get food. And now he's not getting breakfast. Nope. Sorry, buddy. Big Ray's here. Morning. Morning. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. He's got mud on the back of your truck, man. Mud? Mud. That's not mud. Ray, come here. When I did that overlay yesterday on the stoop and we mixed that great cement, yeah. you know, and I put it on. Yep. When you took the extra, did you come by my truck? Because this is overlay material. Splash on my truck. And it's got acrylic on it or in it. It's really sticky, man. I didn't give you a truck. I put all the stuff in there. How would this get on my truck? I put it in the truck though. I put it on that truck. Yeah. Do you know how it would have got on here? This is the overlay material. I assumed your position. I didn't put <laughs> your stuff in the truck. I put it in that truck. Go in the shed. <laughs> Go in the shed. Oh, I'm that's here, the yeah. overlay stuff. The only thing, I took I it out of the truck. No, that's mixed up like wet mud. I put everything in there. So nobody did it? So nobody did it? I didn't do it. Okay, as long as nobody did it, I can't give anybody the belt. <laughs> hey, I'm glad I don't have the Shelby yet. Otherwise, you all get the belt just to make sure the person that did it got it. Somebody's gonna have to get it. Yeah, yeah. Nice hat. That's what I said. Wait, didn't you wear that last year? No, that's what we got it from Vegas. Yeah, yeah, we got that from Vegas. Yes. Kanga loaders, 632, and we are off. And I'm gonna ask him about the cement because that concrete yesterday and the step we poured the day before, really dark concrete. Hey, Steve Ryan from Victory. Hey, right, morning. Morning. So I got an eight o'clock? Yes, for two trucks. Yeah, I need 18 and a half yards, seven bag, low shirt air, microfiber, five inch lump, 20 minutes apart. And then I don't know where those trucks came out of yesterday, but I got to get the same concrete because it's the second half of a driveway. Okay. I really need everything the same. Okay. And then I got a question. Uh, something's different with the concrete. Is it, was there a change in cement? It's really dark colored and it's sticky. I, I noticed a really big difference. Is there a different okay. cement that's... Do, 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 then you did. Get, do, do, you came out of Okachi yesterday then, didn't you? Yep, it's a new cement that they have out there now. Uh, what brand is that? It is a, it's a Lafarge cement. Alright, so it's a mystery. It is, it is a Lafarge cement. All right, okay, yeah, I need the same concrete, same plant and everything, because okay. it's right in the middle of a driveway. I don't have two totally different colors, okay. you know. Um, a little complicated, but we'll figure it out. All right, thank you. Okay, you got it right, talk yeah. to you later. Bye. I've had that happen before. Um, I'll pour half a driveway, and then it could even be the same day, <clears throat> you'll order the second half, and it's a totally different cement or concrete mix. And then you're left with a driveway that's totally different colors which really nobody wants so that's why i needed to clarify that with the dispatcher back on the job again i got 18 and a half yards ordered which will get us up to about where that compactor is right now and then these are the culverts we got to work on we got to dig this all out all the way to the bottom of the culvert there's some steel wings on here like a flange and we got to get that off of there and then we got to trim the end of the pipe because it's dented on both sides. The other side is worse than this one. We gotta trim the end of the pipe and then build a wall up to about here and about a foot wider than the culvert pipe. And then we're gonna angle it up to the driveway. That's the plan for those. You wanna pull this skid loader out of here so we can get the truck in? I wonder if we should uh, get the plywood for the concrete truck. Oh yeah, Cause the it's, green one. Cause it's pretty soft right here, remember? The green. Whatever's on top, it's a good chance to try the green ones. Yeah. See if they float the truck. <laughs> yeah, grab the plywood. We'll do that. I want to keep a flat grade. Ray, when they get here and you drill, drill them like every 18 inches. Put a lot of rebar in here. Okay. Like, ex inches. like extra, you know. You guys got all the mesh you need? Yeah, we got all the mesh. We got yeah. 11 of them. Well, I told them to take a dozen pieces. Have, I'm going to measure have... right now to make sure we got enough. Finally. Man. I stopped at my house because I forgot my batteries. And I've been here for a while. 
Those guys still aren't here. Hey, where'd you guys go? Did you have a sit down breakfast? They were on the victory tour. Victory tour. Jeez. I stopped, I went all the way to my house, got batteries. Are you constipated or something? Man. Diesel. I always hey, hear that. Diesel. Hey, we did go check the go check. Yeah, hey, give him the receipt. So you can check. Yeah. We went to look at this one. No, no, we're, we're at, over there at the guys. There's a guy in front of us eating sandwiches and we told him we gotta go, dude. We, we should look at him. So one time there was a guy at the diesel pump. He pulled up, but he didn't pull so up slow. far enough. So I went up to his truck. I was like, dude, he got to pull up a little farther. I'm trying to get in here. And then he starts yelling at me. We start fighting. He came out. We almost we almost fought right there. He's it's lucky that you didn't find him. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to lay down some plywood and traction mat. I want to keep this grade as flat as possible. Problem that I have, I just bought these traction mats, is that I don't think they're stiff enough to actually help much with floating a concrete truck over soft grade this is not soft grade but sometimes we do have grade that's a little bit softer and if you look how flexible this is i just don't think this stuff's going to help much it'll be fine here i'm sure but that's one of the main purposes of why we carry plywood and i'm not going to spend ten thousand dollars on a stack of traction mat if it doesn't you know work for everything we need it to work for sure it's light it's easy to move around it's got handles but i can buy a lot and i mean a lot of plywood for 10 grand years and years and years and years worth of plywood so for this to be a good investment i'm just not so sure do it when it's bent forward any position which dumb the normal the one you use for your breaker Go like that and it goes in oh oh i didn't know that because yeah. when i bought the machine the guy showed me this is how you unlock it and this is how you lock it he oh, never told me that yeah like i that. know that i'm glad we made that discovery this morning I feel dumb not knowing that but nobody told me that you know the quick touch on the new holland you got to hit the button up there and do the foot yeah. and all that you just hit the hydraulic breaker no way and it goes and you don't have to have it up oh. or down it just goes off hey where are you hey ryan Hey! Where are you going? I'm not done. Yeah, you just hit the you just hit the button, it goes up and down. Yeah, I know. You got nothing to do, Ray? Nothing to do. What do you want me to do? Give me a second. Grab that tape measure first of all. Okay. And then I got plenty for you to do. No, 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 pick it up and bring it here. I'm done. Hey, if you guys are ready, I got uh grab some shovels. We gotta start digging the culverts out. That's good, Ray. Uh help them with the culvert. Start shoveling like we do. I'll show you in a second. Uh, 37 3. Just the loose stuff up there, that's pretty good. As long as it's solid like that, that's good. Huh? Yeah, all this loose stuff's got to go. And then we got to dig down after that. What do you want to go on the bottom? Three feet, four feet? Four feet sound good? Just a foot on each side, I okay. think. Gotcha. All right. So I guess that's three feet. Okay. Yeah, it'll there go. Right. 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 I'm talking about oh, yeah. eh? Good idea, Bugs. Okay. Thank you. I was kind of doubting it, but hey, okay. I've been wrong before, like once. Put the bucket on and come back. Yep. Well, you can Good. Ah. All right, let's pour the concrete now. At least we got one side done. Man, that's a lot of work getting them wings out. Man, concrete's here. This guy looks like he knows what he's doing. I think we're in good hands. <laughs> the morning stretches. You gotta, you gotta bend down and touch your toes too. Bugs does that. There you go. Yep, got it. <laughs> wow, you're flexible, man. Yep. <laughs> I can do my knuckles. All uh, oh, my hamstrings. <laughs> I can, right? nice yeah. Stretch. Nice stretch. I touched it though, with straight legs. Oh, good morning. You're not helping again. I could. Yep, you should. Yeah, yeah. Well, you would match the driver then. Every square inch, Ray. 
Got it? Got it. All right. The way of the hook. We got to master the way of the hook. More agua. Oh, yeah. Put five in. You know it's pretty stiff when it's coming down the chute and it actually starts to like break apart like that. It starts to separate. Then you know it's stiff. See that? I went to grade today. It's it's hot. Doesn't start out real hot in the morning, early. You know, it's like upper 60s. But as soon as that sun pops up, it starts to warm up quick. It's definitely hotter than yesterday. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought was gonna happen. See, these things just smash down. They don't hold nothing. They don't hold that truck up. I'm not buying these. Yeah, I mean, look what this did. It just like put a big U-bend in, in the sheet. No good. Do not recommend for our type of work. I'm sure they're great for like other guys doing other kind of stuff, but not us. It doesn't help that this guy keeps backing up and going forward a thousand times. Once you go up, just try to back up once because it's sinking in pretty good. Concrete seems slightly better than yesterday. Concrete seems slightly better than yesterday. Because now it's actually smooth with the bowl flow. Yeah. Yesterday it was more sticky for some reason. Although it is more humid today, that's probably part of it. He did say it was a different cement. I said, well, what kind? And he's like, well, I'm not really sure, but Lafarge makes it. I was like, okay. That's comforting. <laughs> All right, second truck. You guys fighting already? Concrete's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Christmas chocolates, you know? <laughs> you just put it in your mouth and hope for the best. And then you get some kind of coconut, banana, cream, pie, and you're like, ah! Francisco, what are you doing? I'm using my pants. You're sewing your pants? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, leave him alone. He's sewing his pants. Let me see. <laughs> Just for now. <laughs> you know what? Put the water on that base. Keep everything consistent. It looks all right still. Yeah. Sorry. 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 <laughs> oh. Did I get you too? And, and actually, you want you were an accident. Hey, I'm good. That'd have been good one if you're standing around, but I'll get it. Hey, put a quick gallon in. Oh, you did. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bowl floating again from the top. Just trying to keep the surface creamy and moist. So when the sun's baking it, we'll have something to work with. As long as you have time, you know. Serious? Nah, I just bull floated up there. He said it's ready. He said it's ready for joints. I just bull floated five minutes ago. Nah, it's soft. I got a little time. I mean, it's setting up. It's not sitting there. You see the sur see the surface though? I bull floated all that twice, like really slow. It's not perfectly smooth. You see, it's still ripply. It doesn't close perfect. It doesn't matter how many times you bowl float it. 
I mean, I both loaded it twice, super nice and slow. Hang on. Your hose is dragging. Ray trying to set me up. I don't know what I did to Ray. I know, he just leaves it right under the tire. Oh. Yeah, like off to the side would have been, would have been a lot better, Ray. You should just wear two belts, so I got an extra one for you. <laughs> Ray's just like this. He just keeps it unlashed because he knows it's always coming off. Here you go. Here you go. Buck said don't roll the edge, Ryan. Buck said don't roll the edge? Yeah. yeah. Make sure it's flush. Is it really flush? Should I check? Pretty good. Pretty flush. That drives me absolutely nuts. When we do a second pour, and then the guys keep it, you know, I've seen it a million times. I'm just saying the guys in general through my whole career. Uh, they'll, they'll, the new concrete will be down a little bit lower than that. That drives me absolutely crazy. Every time I see that, my head just is about to explode. Hey, Ray's like, I'm never edging the concrete. Okay, I'm going to change my boots, grab a string line. Actually, I think I see one right here we can use. Oh, that's a new one. We're not going to use that one. There's another one. We'll use this one. And we'll pop all the lines. Get the joints in. We got a little, little fuzz. That's kind of nice. Fuzzy clouds, kind of filtering the sun just a bit. I'll get out of your way. I just don't want to get behind because as you can see, it's, it's not exactly soft. Oh, these are cherries. Well, yeah, too, yeah. You call them blackberries. <laughs> Is it black cherries? I don't know. Oh, black cherries, yeah, yeah. I gotta cut the joints, man. I'm right in the middle of something. Yeah. And look at these poles all bent they are. You know how hard this is to do? Look at my poles. It's like an S. I just have to kind of guess. One little wiggle right out there, which I'm gonna get right now. Right here. A little to the left. And the rest is perfect. Well, not perfect perfect enough where you won't see it all right guys are jumping on concrete sets fast man we're in good shape but we ain't waiting around you can see i'm just still working on the joints it's kind of how it usually goes i'm still finishing up joints and they're on it already all right that's all the joints i can do bugs and the guys have to connect those two in the middle it's about i don't know eight feet or so that i can't get you just can't reach that far but i gotta get back up top and start brooming and picture framing. Man, this one, something's wrong with that joint. Which one? This one too. Yeah. No, well, right, that, oh, that looks good. It's where the two came together. No, it goes like up and then over and then over again. What's wrong? It's like this, I think the snap line got. That was a double line down there. Let me grab a string line. We got to fix that one. This one looks okay. Yeah, this one, something happened to it. It looks really terrible. Hold this right where you are, Francisco. Right at the four square. That's where the problem kind of starts. See how bad it looks? Yeah, right where the four square is. This one's, something happened. It almost seems like when it was put down, it went like this. That's, this is like four inches off. Yeah, it's right where the brake is. So I must have hit the string and then brought down kind of crooked. I know exactly what happened. Bugs was on the top. Tina was down here. There's a brake in the driveway right where Francisco is. So Bugs was holding it. Tino brought it down and he brought it down about two inches to the right after it hit the brake. That's why it was <laughs> way off. Francisco rubbed the dirt in. I told you, don't rub that dirt in. 
That was like one of your first days, Eric, remember? That was a day. Yep. All right, everything's going good. We're picture framing the edges. We gotta go out there. That joint's jacked up right there. I can't accept that. <laughs> what, what is... Hand up. Is it straight like a laser? Hand up. Okay, what that's what I want. I hate having to go back and fix work, man. That drives me nuts. Second time, third time already in the last hour. <laughs> Hey, make sure you're looking up your joint as you go. I can't do this again. As you go, make sure you're looking at it. You want to finish, Eric? I got 12 inches left. I got it. Look. No. You got the other side. Oh yeah, I know that. I gotta broom that first. <laughs> Almost done. Two more squares of broom and picture frame, and that's it. Stop bossing me, Eric. Oh, I just went to the water here. Yeah, but you're like, bring the water over here, Ryan. Like I'm dumb. Stop treating me bad, Eric. I'll quit for real. <laughs> I will. You guys will be on your own. Oh. Hey. No. No, Ray. No Ray, no Ray, me fa so la ti. Easy money. Very easy, right Eric? Yes, sir. Easier when it's hot because it dries faster and you get done earlier. So I like it when it's hotter. Right Eric? Right Eric? <laughs> yes, yes. It makes the day go by fast. Yeah, when you put the concrete down, you got to drop it like it's hot air. Yeah. For real. All right, driveway looks super good. Oh, I'm so thirsty right now. I, got another risotto. I would drink muriatic acids. <laughs> I would, straight. As long as it's really cold with some ice, you're like, ah. Burning your stomach. It just, it just comes right out of your belly. <laughs> Bloop, it falls right out. I think you would, I think you would die almost immediately. Oh, yeah. If you drank muriatic acid. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a doctor, but I'm pretty sure you would die within yeah, minutes. I mean, running your stomach. Because it would burn right yeah. through all your guts right away. I think that would burn on your way to like your heart. Your, your esophagus. I mean, it would probably it go right on your heart. Yeah. It would go right through your esophagus yeah. and then leak on your heart, and then your heart would melt into a clump, and that's it. You're done. Can't you even enjoy it. No, you wouldn't. No, you, <laughs> you wouldn't. Right away. It would hit your tongue and just melt your tongue off. Like, you wouldn't enjoy it at <laughs> all. Your teeth would melt. Straight. I'm pulling the machine over. We're gonna start digging out the other side of the culvert. Bugs is setting the forms on this side. We'll get this all set up over here. Francisco! Yeah. Put up a car. Put up a car. Put up a car. Vente pa car. Come here. Vente pa car. Yeah, when you're really hot and you put the AC, you get a sore throat sometimes. And then you can get sick. I'm a little sick. Not really sick though. Just I'm congested, but I feel I feel okay. I know you just exaggerate though. More Nyquil. Yeah. More little Nyquil. Nyquil for the and job. Nyquil. Nyquil. No Nyquil. Seems like you're on Nyquil all the time here. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. he has, yeah. Nyquil in the night. Yeah. He's got yeah. them mixed up. He drinks a whole Nyquil and then drinks a whole monster. Maybe that's why I'm. That's wake why up you're a little bit late. That's yeah. Why, yeah. That's why you need your monsters. <laughs> it's like a trampoline. Yeah. I told you if you hit it at the right time, yeah. But the other one, the other one's better, dude. Yeah. Hey, wrap it around, wrap it around a couple times. Shorten the chain a little bit. Go around a few times even. Hey, are you doing it the same? One on side, one on one side, one on the other, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, we gotta trim the pipe again. I have to cut the pipe to match the angle of the driveway. Oh, I can do that now. We just gotta dig to here, farther down below the uh, Height of the bottom of the pipe there. I got a couple inches under the pipe, six inches in like I did on that. <sighs> yeah, he is. <sighs> Give you guys a power like this. <sighs> you can start making uh, like motivational fitness videos. <laughs> You know what I mean? Those guys lifting weights and all that oh, stuff. They catch me in the back. <laughs> when the video ends, I'm eating a Coca-Cola. <laughs> and Coca-Cola. Oh, <laughs> with your big belly sticking out. <laughs> oh, sorry. That was advertising. 
once you shovel the gravel off the road or scrape it shovel it sweep it and then uh somebody can start cutting the road don't take the asphalt out just cut the road we'll take it out at the very end with this <laughs> If I should do that right. I did that once. You did? No way. Yes, I did. No way. Yes, I did. But our saw broke. We had concrete sitting on the road. We came to the end. Our saw won't start. All we had is one of these with a diamond blade. I cut the road. It was asphalt. I cut it all the way as far as I could, and we we chiseled it off. Yeah, it worked. All right, that looks that looks good there. Nice and round again. We're good. Hey. Stack those and let's eat before the pizza gets cold. I don't want the people to get mad. I got that one cut perfect. Eric's almost done setting it actually. Hey, it's gonna get really cold. Eric, if you beat bugs, thousand dollar bonus. We just gotta make sure we use the same material, get the same height. Well, we'll just, we'll just snap a line, or I can take a nail and put a nail through there and that'll be top of concrete. Well, we can do top of concrete, top of two by four right now. That's good. I'm just, that's good. Yeah, it don't. There's nothing specific. Okay. Yeah, I got you. As long as the other side is seven too. Yeah. If we use the same material over there, just stack it the same. Right. You're never gonna get a bonus just staring at it, Eric. <laughs> you think the pizza's worth a thousand dollars? My health is. Worth Your health, Eric. I promise you, you don't. If you skip a lunch, you're not gonna die. Look at these guns. <laughs> How are you gonna get guns like that? Well, look at you trying to compete for Best Mom Monday. Keep, keep, keep yeah. I mean, guys, you my reputation. Yeah, you wanna ruin my reputation. Yeah, but you put, what are these called? Papitas. Papitas, see my mom doesn't use papitas, so you got a one up right there. Yeah. We got papitas, you guys. Junior made it. Ooh, that looks good. Hey, how come some is missing? What's we got Jip, some is missing. I know. Oh. <laughs> Make a, whole, make a whole sandwich. Mm -hmm. Jalapenos. Who brought jalapenos? Really? No. <gasps> oh, that's gonna be. Oh, <laughs> 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 look right. at that beef. Take it easy, right? It popped open on its own, man. Oh, I, I really like spices. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we gotta clean this Thank up. Thank you very much for the food. Thank you very much. Yeah, that was awesome. Thank you. Really She's trying to get customer of the year yeah, award. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But now all the guys are gonna have to use your bathroom. So. I'm Already? I'm serious. Uh, all right, we just had lunch. Back to work. We're gonna finish up the approach down there. I'm gonna seal this driveway. Sealer, sealer. I'm trying to do everything exactly the same <clears throat> from the first pour to the second pour even to the timing of when I put the sealer on. I'm trying to get these pores to turn out the same exact color. He's got seven inches over the top of the culvert. I don't know what that is. Put that in a two by four and see what it says. What do you got, what do you got right now? If it's seven inches, it's still my favorite. That is about seven inches. Here. No, that's not seven inches. Yeah, if you get a two by four, if you can knock that first one down, yeah. half inch, more, mm -hmm. and then a two by four on top of that, that's it. Yeah, it can overhang here. No, what are you doing? One foot. Uh, yeah. No, from the outside, wherever the outside of the culvert is, Eric, look at the culvert. The outside, no, 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 no. Uh. <laughs> Outside of uh, is my camera? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> Why? Why? It's going in the <laughs> Right. From the outside of the from the outside of the culvert. He was measuring every which way except what was right. He, he was measuring this way, this way, that way. Diagonal. Diagonal. Right here. Triangle. So this side of the culvert, okay. 12 inches. So oh, right there. Okay, right there. Gotcha. Oh, I almost broke my toes. Ryan, hold this right here. You can just stand on it, Ryan. I'm using it as a template to saw against. Oh. You understand? I understand. That looks good. 
Put the rebar away. Ryan, you can put your safety gear on and start cutting that all the way through. Exactly. I'm gonna go buy out the lemonade stand. Go for it. I'm bringing this. I'm bringing the skid loader. Yeah, okay. I'm buying a lemonade. Just dump it all in the bucket. We'll drink it with straws. Yeah. <laughs> what are you guys selling? Wow, my crew's down there and they said they're really thirsty. Mm -hmm. Very thirsty. It's fair. How much are the drinks? Uh, a dollar each. One dollar. They follow you on YouTube. You do? You know who I am? Yeah. I think I'm a subscriber. You are? Man. You know what I do for my subscribers? I give them twenty dollars. Cash. Cash money. Anybody else subscribe? My dad is. How much for the whole supply? The whole supply? The whole supply. Well, how many people do you have, like, working? All three pitchers. Oh, 50 to Buy you out. I'm going to buy your whole company. Uh, whole company? That's going to be a hefty price. It is? Uh -huh. I want to buy the whole business. That'll be $1,000. $1,000? It's only you three people. work here. Yeah. Oh, he wants to be your CEO. Well, I was thinking maybe I could just... Drive down there with your pitcher because we're working right there. And then I'll fill everybody up and then I'll bring your empty pitcher back right away. Oh, okay, that works. How much for the yellow one and the pink one? And the pink? Um, well. Just give me a great deal. That's $7. $7? Yeah. Let me see what I got. $7 and seven cups? Yeah. Okay, I'll bring the pitchers right back in five minutes. And then you can continue your business. Yeah. Oh, we got a problem. I don't have $7. You think a hundred dollars will be enough? Seriously? Really? Are you sure? It's all I got. I don't know what else we could do. Thank you so much. Thank you much. so much. Yeah, you're welcome. I'll bring your pictures right back, I promise. Thank you. You're welcome. Here you go. All right. Got it. I got pink lemonade, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I got the pink one. <laughs> what do they say? What do they say? I bought, you the, bought the whole <laughs> I, I bought the whole company. That's funny. I bought the whole company. Yep. Awesome. <laughs> We're the official owners of a lemonade stand now. You want pink? Pink. Yeah. Wait, wait till this subs. What color do you want, Bug? Is it sweet? Subsidiary. Yeah, you got it. I'm not picky. Here, give that to Eric. Give that to Eric. This isn't even enough. No, we need more. We do. Tell him. Tell him. <laughs> we do. We need the, They got one more pitcher. Yeah, one more? Mm hmm. Save your cup. I'll get another one. It is. They didn't cheap out. No. Sometimes those lemonade businesses on the side, they're all water. This one, we got a good deal. This one is good. They got quality product. Quality. Quality product. We got a problem. <laughs> it wasn't enough. No? No. You're welcome. We'll be back in five minutes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. What is this? Iced tea. I'll leave a little lemonade. Iced tea and lemonade go good together. Thank you. Thank you. It was a pleasure doing business. Thank you. Adios. Just running up. I get another bonus? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good day. Ryan saw on the road. Bug side is all set. Eric and Franny are almost set. I'm going to put the breaker on and start getting the rest of that concrete out there. Caution tape. We need caution tape. Is that good? Sweep up around this trailer before you go. There's some rocks back there and some wood splinters. Hey, that all right? Tried what? Make it all straight. It's good, right? The caution tape? Yeah. That's perfect, Ray. Awesome. All right, we're ready to pour tomorrow. We'll put a whole bunch of rebar in the wings and across the culvert pipe. Make sure this thing doesn't go anywhere. I got estimates all, all night now. On the south side on top of it. Adios.
You hardy? No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, right. Look at my temperature on my uh, dash. That's probably pretty close to right. That may be a couple degrees hotter than it actually is, but it's hot. Hotty, hotty. Have a good day. They hauled everything away today. It's all gone. All right, let's see how Zach and the roofers are doing. Well, Daniel's helping again. Hi, Daniel. Hi. Looks like they're almost done. Looks like they all got to do is just above the porch. Almost done? They just got to redo that part. Yep. How's it going? Good. Hot out. Soup. Don't fall. <laughs> Guys are almost done. It's, you know, yeah. you're almost to the end. Don't fall now. <laughs> I heard you almost had a little fall yesterday. No. I just I did that on purpose just to get them nervous. I was made it look like I was slipping a little bit. Okay. Yeah. If I fell off the back, I'd be dead for yeah, sure. Hurt. hurt hurt real bad or dead. As big as I am, my body yeah, would just be like pow. Yeah, it looks good. Just let me know like the extra charges for the repairs and stuff. There's no you gotta charge for that, dude. You can't do stuff like that for free. Okay, whatever. You gotta get something, you know, it takes time too. Everything you do on a job, no, honestly, like, don't give anything away for free. Just let the people know, like, hey, we got it. Even if it's small, be like, hey, would you like us to fix this, you know? Yeah. Because honestly, by the end of the year, if you added up all the little things, like, just to keep a customer happy, it's like a ton of money. So I've done a lot of stuff. You won't, you won't irritate people. Like, you're kind of helping them, you know? Like, hey, this is pretty rotten. Do you think we should fix it? Like, it will only cost you this much. They'll always say yes, and you won't irritate anybody. Yeah. Yeah, just always get your money. Piece of advice, like, when I go bid something, I'm very confident, you know what I mean? I tell people, this is the way it is. This is the price. I say, I'm not going to call you back. I'm not going to bother you. I'm not following up. I said, I do really nice work. If you want to do the work, just, you know, uh, shoot me an email, send me a text message. And that's it and we'll be ready to get the job done we'll do it right yep. once you're really confident people don't ask me for discounts anymore wow nice job daniel daniel picked up all these nails he said he wants a buck a nail so yeah he's trying to sell them nails. back to you is what he's yeah. trying yeah buck a nail hey i gotta get going can i write you a check now all right there you go phone number website they're local so don't call from other states needing a roof hey what's your service area uh, I love Wisconsin. the whole fox valley the whole fox valley yeah but you don't usually come up here by waukesha milwaukee area um we will we'll go anywhere really within wisconsin We're all right down by Chicago pretty soon here. yeah for a big enough job yeah yep. not to roof a shed all right thanks man Thank you. i'm gonna where do you want your check i'll put it somewhere in the, I'll put it on the front seat. Okay. I'm giving you uh, an extra thousand for the repair. Ooh. This one? Yep. You're giving me a stiletto? Yep. Why? Because. These are expensive. It's, it's, a, it's a gift, man. Man, I'll keep this for real. Yep. You're serious? Yeah. Thank you. Awesome, man. Thank you. I'll give it a bath and some well, all, gasoline. Gotta, is that as steep as the top roof? No. no. This is oh, okay. That's no problem, man. <laughs> I'll be right up because yesterday I almost died. All right, I'm coming. You guys need my help, eh? Yep. Where's it? Oh, there you are. You guys need help, I'll help. Finish this job up real quick. You just have to say something. See, I got different shoes on. They're way more grippy. Boots Dude, do not work. What kind well of boots? Rubs. Those ones that I wore yesterday, they're completely smooth bottom. Yeah. They have no traction whatsoever. Yeah. And it was slipping. Yeah, I thought you were going down. All right, so. Nah, this is way better though. So you, Yesterday when I just did this, they started to go. <laughs> yeah, well, when it's hot, they start to come off. So yeah. You. Boom, this is your nail line right here. Boom. Right boom, in the tar. Boom, 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 boom. Here? Yep. And here? Yep. That's super, look at the spacing on that. That's perfect. That's impressive, really. Yeah. This one almost came off the nail strip, though. Yeah. Is it from here to here? Uh, basically. It's basically or is from it this here one? to here. This is where it right here, from in between my fingers. Oh, that's a pretty that's, fat strip. Yeah. Ah, 
I've never put a shingle on in my life. Well, never ever. I tell you what, you're that's better than I've seen. <laughs> he no, still can't get I'm not, him straight. I'm not a roofer, so. All right, man, keep up the good work. I gotta run. Whoa, that was way faster than me. <laughs> Thanks, bro. All right, see ya. Yep. I thought I was doing good. I was like, man, that was pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Yep, when it's in the 90s like today, it's really easy. Yeah. yeah. When your tar line's sticking and your gun's sticking to it. Yeah. It <laughs> All right, see ya. Yep, thank you. Yep, thank you.